When you have wired up your B2, the next step is to connect to Wi-Fi. You only have to do this once. By the way, B2 works without a network connection. You only need the network for the web UI, internet radio, and the latest CD track names. B2 has a menu system that you can operate either from the front panel or with the remote control. Start by pushing the knob or pressing OK on the remote control. You can always go back by pressing back. There are three parts to the display. The main area shows the current choice and it's big enough to see across a room. The title and the scrolling help text. These are smaller and you will probably only need them when learning to use the B2. Turn the knob to settings or press up and down on the remote control, then push again. Select set up Wi-Fi. The B2 will take a few seconds to scan for Wi-Fi networks. Scroll through the network names until you find your network, then push to select. You now need to enter the Wi-Fi password. On the front panel, you turn the knob to see letters, then push to enter that letter. Press back to delete the last letter. On the remote control, it's like texting. So press two once for A, twice for B, and so on. Passwords are case sensitive, so keep pressing to find capitals. Punctuation and special characters are available on the zero and one keys. When you have entered the password, press next. B2 will attempt to connect to the network with the password you entered. It can take up to a minute the first time. After B2 is connected, it will display an IP address in the help area. And sometime after that, B2 will get the time from the internet. If you type the IP address into a web browser on a device on the same network, you will see the Brennan web UI. Now is a good time to set the time zone. Select settings, then set time zone, then adjust the hours until the time is right and push again. It's a good idea to get the latest software now. The software loaded at the factory may be quite old. To see the date on the current software, press the info button on the remote control. Press once to see what's on the disk, twice to see the software date, and again to clear. Updating the software only takes a few seconds. Select settings and then web upgrade. The B2 will restart after a few seconds. You can check the date of the new software with the info button.